Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering: Could Drew Brees be replaced by Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston by the end of the year? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates from the NFL prediction picks, so you can get all the updates if you need help with your fantasy football, uh, updated lineups, and if you need help with trades, anything like that, or if, if you just need help betting games, feel free to let me know. We can definitely help you in the comments section. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the action. Coming into this football season, you saw that a lot of what Drew Brees did in Sean Payton's offense was special. So many different 5,000 yard season that Drew Brees has been a part of. So many different passes, so many different uh, special moments as a New Orleans Saint member. Uh, Drew Brees has done for Sean Payton and company. And you're looking just what he is now. Father time, it's very, uh, you know, clear that follow time has caught up to Drew Brees just a little bit. He cannot make all the throws. He cannot make all the big down the th field passes. And you're seeing the limited as far as arm strength of what he actually has. Um, not saying that, you know, all players don't go through those kind of things as far as the quarterback position goes. You know, as you get older, you lose a little bit of velocity. You lose a little bit of that power, a little bit of that grip. Um, you you can make some of those throws every once in a while for Drew Brees, but uh, we're seeing the inconsistencies. You're seeing in the offense, in Sean Payton's offense, there's been times where there have been guys open and Drew Brees just didn't have the confidence to get the ball there, whether it be his fault, whether it be the offensive line fault, they can't stop the pressure, or whatever the case may be. But you've seen Drew Brees regress just a little bit as a quarterback, and that's natural. When you're looking at Taysom Hill, his possible replacement, um, you ask yourself, what is actually Taysom Hill? Is he an actual quarterback? Is he a gadget quarterback? Is he somebody you can build an offense around? And I'm going to be straightforward and say this. Taysom Hill is not an NFL starting quarterback. While he may have the definition as far as in the workout body, while he may be able to pull off a couple of different gadget plays here or there consistently. We saw with him and Teddy Bridgewater last year when they both were on the team and Sean Payton elected to go with Teddy Bridgewater versus Taysom Hill. That spoke volumes right then and there. Now, if Taysom Hill was a better quarterback, he would have started last year when Drew Brees went under the uh, injury and he could not play for a couple of weeks. And Teddy Bridgewater kept this team in the middle of the road until Drew Brees came back and helped them. Of course, as you know how it ended last year uh, with the playoff situation. So um, you're looking at Taysom Hill and what he does well. He's a quarterback that is good with his legs. He has a cannon for an arm, but he's not accurate. He does not get the guys the ball in a timely manner to where it's going to be consistent uh, as far as dropping under center and being able to take that five-step drop, seven-step drop. Boom, hit the slant. He, he can't hit all the throws. And it was very clear that when you have Teddy Bridgewater beat you out in the quarterback battle, that says a lot. Not No disrespect to Teddy Bridgewater, but he is not the best quarterback ever. He's not even in the conversation. Uh, and, you know, Taysom Hill should have been starting if he was better than Teddy Bridgewater for the Saints. And you, you now see that Teddy is starting for Carolina. So when you're looking at Jameis, um, it's not many quarterbacks that have thrown for over 5,000 yards or 30 touchdowns as well, 30 interceptions as well in the same season, uh, that really are backing up in the NFL. You look at just what uh, Jameis is. Jameis has tremendous arm talent. He has tremendous ability to get away out the pocket. You look at what he is as a quarterback. He just makes bad decision after bad decision each and every week. You saw it with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers week after week month after month, year after year, it was the same kind of behavior from Jameis Winston. And you ask yourself, in Sean Payton's offense, can he open up the offense? And does he know the plays? Is he going to be able to command the offensive huddle like Drew Brees does? Is he going to be able to motivate the guys to get them to, to buy into what he's selling each and every week? That's what you have to ask yourself if you're the Saints when it comes to Jaylen, uh, Jameis Winston. So, uh, so many different questions come to mind with Jameis Winston as far as his maturity level. Off the field, do you have to worry about Jameis getting into trouble or doing something he has no business doing, whether it be from petty theft, sexual harassment, sexual assault, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, it's a history of things that, that, that follow at that point. So, um, when you're looking at what Sean Payton has to work with, I don't see him replacing at this, at this point. Um, 
Drew Brees with one of those guys. I think that, you know, if they have a trade opportunity, they may trade Jameis for some picks, uh, Taysom Hill for some picks or something like that. I think Sean Payton more or less will try to use the quarterback position uh, with their depth that they have to try to get one of those quarterbacks off the roster to try to get young players in, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or defense. So, so I'm just answering some of you guys' mailbag question. Um, not it was a pretty good one about Jameis Winston and, and, and Drew Brees and them. So each and every week, if you have questions, leave comments under the uh, video so we can answer some of those sports back questions each and every week. And as always, I do want to thank you guys for supporting. Make sure you subscribe. And in the comment section, I want you to leave uh, your first name and what's your NFL team. If you could do that for me, that would be a big help. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you're sharing, but make sure you share your NFL team in the comment section. And let me know who's your favorite team. Thank you all so very, very much for supporting. And as always, check out the archive of videos that we have from the past and even moving forward. So thank you all so very much. We'll see you all next video.